So a quick tour of our Cougar 306 BHS we have for sale. The interior is very spacious. We've updated it quite a bit. You can see that we've added wallpaper and basically taken down a lot of the old curtains and the old stylings of the uh, original from the factory, which were in some cases fairly hideous. It's got a nice big area for a TV, stereo, whatever setup you might want. We did put a couch cover on the couch because again, the uh, factory is uh, kind of hideous when it comes to design there. Curtains all new, lots of storage above. Nice big slide out for the couch and the dining area. Recovered the dining seats. Again, just changed it more to our liking. Tried to get rid of some of the um, factory styling, which we didn't really care for. Kitchen area, again, remodeled. Changed some of the wall coverings, of course. Added brand new hardware to every single cabinet in the RV. Fridge and freezer work well. Plenty of storage for your pantry as well. Again, new furniture that we added just to uh, be more in line with the decor that we like. I did take out the old non-working DVD player, added a little Bluetooth stereo so you can Bluetooth stream, radio, whatever you like extra cords and things there for uh, connections for various things. Going back here through into the bathroom. Step in shower in the corner. Always could be more spacious, but works out well. Again, in the bathroom, we did a little bit of remodeling just to make the RV a bit more of what we liked. Coming back into the master bedroom, queen size RV bed, plenty of storage, wardrobes on both sides, storage above the bed. Does have a little place for TV if you wanted to add that and a connection there. Does have ample storage underneath the bed as well. The lower portion of the bed lifts up. And you've got a fair amount of storage for things that maybe you won't get to very often down below. Coming back through the living area. Again, more storage, of course, underneath the uh, banquette for the dining area. And then one of our favorite parts for this layout was the back bunkhouse. It has its own separate back door has its own storage. And then there are two bunk beds, one almost a full size on the bottom, and the other one at top, kind of more of a twin size. Both of these fold up and out of the way. We never used the beds for their intended purpose. We actually took the mattresses out and then folded up the beds and used this entire back space as a parking garage for our bicycles or when we carried our dogs with us this was great for their crates and carriers and all of their various miscellaneous supplies. But if you have kiddos, it's great because they have their entire own little separate space and room. You can close the door. You could even put a TV in. There's a TV jack inside there, and that works out great. So you could easily fit two people there, possibly three kids. And then in the living room, the couch is a pull-out queen-size couch, so that would be two more. And then you've got the queen-size bed in the back. So you could easily fit six people, six adults, maybe even seven if you're talking a mixture of adults and kids. If you're interested, come take a look. We're currently asking for $14,900 is our starting price, but we would be happy to talk to you. This RV has been great for us. We intended to keep it for a very long time, so that's why we did all the modifications and upgrades um, that you'll see on the website. But plans change and so we are probably going to be changing to a class c and that's really the only reason we're getting rid of this trailer thanks bye bye